Mapping may be as old as time, but it has never been more cutting edge. Location data permeates our world, and with GPS devices on every new phone, the introduction of the HTML5 geolocation API, geotagged photos and social media posts becoming more and more commonplace, telling someone how to get from here to there and share data at that location has never been more prevalent. Geographic information systems used to be complex, expensive, proprietary systems that only specially trained technicians could really leverage. Chances are you've used for free an online mapping service to find a location, get directions, or check on traffic. Google Maps is one popular example that you're probably familiar with. In the Drupal mapping world, solutions range from the straightforward to the highly complex. Simple Google Maps enables you to display a one-line address as a Google Map on your site. Open Layers module with its many configuration options makes it possible to create complex mapping solutions with big data. But what if you want something with more flexibility than simple Google Maps, but less complexity than Open Layers? Enter Leaflet. In this series, you'll get up and running with mapping using Leaflet. First, you'll learn how to add and configure a special field type to a content type using GeoField module. Then we'll install Leaflet, a Drupal module and lightweight JavaScript library that is quickly becoming a favorite for mobile-friendly maps and simple configuration. Before you know it, you'll have a map displaying a single location point on a node page. Next, we'll look at improving the geographic data entry process by leveraging address field and geocoder modules. We'll import addresses from a CSV file and using an option provided by geocoder module, configure our geo field to translate the address data from the address field into specially formatted geographic data that our map will use. With our nodes populated with both human-friendly address data as well as map-friendly geographic data, we'll use views to create a map of multiple points. Then we'll customize the map display by providing a custom map marker image and changing the base map layer using configuration options that come with Leaflet out of the box as well as a module that extends Leaflet. Finally, we'll take a look at further refining our maps interface by introducing clustering. When you complete this series, you'll be able to create a map of both single and multiple points, geocode address data, configure geofield to store geographic data, and customize the look and feel of your Leaflet Maps interface. Let's get started with mapping using Leaflet.